okay so yesterday was a sourcing day for me and we wanted to make it like a quick trip didn't turn out to be a quick trip because there was just too much good stuff and it was so hard to like sort and when there's that much good stuff you want to just get it all and that's when you have to be the smartest about what you pick up and the pickiest so that's what i tried to do but it was very hard i got a lot of good stuff though so i wanted to film a little haul video can't speak little haul video for you guys and show you the things that i picked up and if you're new to my channel my name is hannah and i am a full-time clothing seller on the Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari apps. And on my channel, I just like to show you guys hauls that I've done or tips and tricks to help with selling on Poshmark. So I hope you guys like this video. Okay, let's do shoes first. So these are a pair of shoes that I got. They're Bowden, which I've never got Bowden shoes before, but Bowden has like a big cult following. And so I, their dresses sell pretty quickly for me. And these were just too cute not to pick up. They're calf hair, they're super soft. And a pretty animal print, which is in style. And they're also a larger size. So it was like all of the uh, boxes were checking off on these ones. I don't know what size these are exactly. I wear an eight and these are like huge. So I think these are almost like a 10, but yeah, got these super cute Bowden little sneakers. I think that's what they'd be called, sneakers. Okay, and the next pair are these St. John heels. They're super pretty sling back. Um, the fabric is like holographic, see that? It's super cool. I've never picked up St. John shoes before, so I'm excited to see how these will do. I don't know what I will price these at yet. I have to do a little bit more research, um, but they are size nine and a half. And again, I don't know what I'm gonna price the Bowden ones at either, but if I do know like a roundabout listing price, then I'll probably say that. But I wanna figure these out first. Same with the St. John's. Okay. And then next, I was super excited to get these. I paid up a little bit for them. My paying up for these was like 27. And that's really not that bad for shoes. These are Everlane. And I love getting Everlane. This is my first time I found a pair of their shoes. And these are really popular, I guess. I thought, has these holes, and I thought that that was like a flaw, so I freaked out after I got back in the car, but then I was like, oh wait, the other one has identical. So I think they're supposed to be that way. But these are like brand new and they're super popular and sought after, like the comps on Poshmark looked really good. So I was happy that I picked these up. And these are size seven. Again, not sure what I'm gonna list it at. Okay, these ones are super cool. These are Vans. And they have the prettiest satin embroidered detailing that I've ever seen. And they're like perfect condition. With Vans, uh, whenever I pick them up, people are really particular that this logo stays intact. So unless they're like a super cool, unique print, but the thing's messed up, I'll still pick them up. But if this is messed up, then usually I won't. But these are in... As you can see, the bottoms are in perfect condition. These are in perfect condition. It's like brand new. So I was really happy with these. These are a size eight and a half. And I think I'm gonna list these around $50. Um, the prices on Poshmark ranged from like 120 to 80. And I think 50 is a safe Bet. Maybe I'll list them a little higher because solds were kind of around 80 and then there was like one random one at 25 So I think I'm gonna pick a nice middle ground. So yeah, but these are just really cool Okay, that is all of my shoes now I'm gonna do some jeans 
This was the first time for me picking up girlfriend jeans. And I liked these. They're a larger size. They're called the Carolina jeans. And they're black, distressed, raw hem. They have the butt cheek cutout, which I always make fun of. I'm not a fan of butt cheek cutouts, but that's okay. Some people like it. Um, and these are still on Revolve for like $270. So yeah, I definitely did not pay that for them. So I'm excited to get these listed since they are a newer style. And for size wise, these are 29. So super cute. This is what the label looks like in the back. Just in case you wanted to know, cause I've never picked these up before. So this was a Bolo brand crossed off my list. Okay, another one are these Alice and Olivia. These smell like barbecue, I'm not kidding. It smells like someone, or like campfire, like someone was standing by a campfire or like a meat smoker or something because they smell like barbecue. I'm going to have to wash them. But it's kind of funny right now. These are light pink and the reason I got them was because they have these wide flare legs. This white label is an older Alice and Olivia um, label, and I don't don't usually like to pick up the older ones, but this was also a half off. I got these ones at Goodwill. This was a half off tag, and flare jeans are in, so I thought I would give it a chance. There's my bad British accent for you. I can do better. I just didn't write them. Okay. And these are a pair of Madewell. These were also a half off tag, so at Goodwill. So that was great. These are the nine inch high rise skinny. And yeah, they're just high rise skinny white Madewell jeans, size 27. They have like, I think a slight mark right here. They just need to be washed. It's not like stain. So I'll probably throw those in the wash with my Barbecue Alice and Olivia pants. Okay, these are another pair of Madewell jeans and these ones are super cool. This wasn't at Goodwill, but um, it was a half off too, which I was super excited about. The cashier was like, what Madewell jeans for half off? And I was like, I don't know. These are the Cruiser straight leg jeans and they're size 28, but look, they are like two-toned with raw hem. I love them. And I'm kind of sad that they're size 28. <laughs> Made well. So yeah, I was happy to see those. Last pair of jeans. This was again, another Bolo. These are McGuire jeans. And this is a situation where I had to be picky because there were a few different pair of Meguiar jeans, but I did pay up for them. So I was being picky as to which pair and style I liked. And these ones, okay, look at them. Let me go back far enough. These are freaking cute. They're like trousers with the scrunchy tied waist. I love these. They're a size 30. So I was really sad that they're not my size, but um, with Meguiar jeans, they have this kind of M on the back. It almost makes you think of mother jeans, but it's like incomplete. Um, and this is what the label looks like. So yeah, and they're high-waisted. I was happy to get these. I think I'm going to have to, maybe I can find someone to help me find like style name of this, but I might just try to model them because it'd be super cute with like a picture listed. Okay, that is all of the jeans I got. I only got one jacket. Um, so we'll just show you that right now. This is a lemon jacket. It looks like this. I don't know what the style name is, but the inside is like, this super warm, soft fleece. 
and it doesn't have pockets, but it's long sleeve has like zippers at the end and then like a long flowy front. And the only reason I knew it was Lululemon is because it has this little tag sewn at the bottom. So yeah, sometimes you can just tell by feeling the fabric that it's Lululemon. And that's like, <laughs> it's like a quiet taste. Um, once you feel enough, you kind of get the hang of what it feels like. So now if I feel it, I'm like, mm, and then I'll just instantly go and look. And I was right. So I was happy about that. Okay, that is the only jacket that I got, but let me show you um, from this pile, which is kind of mixed. But this is a really cute kind of satiny slip dress. It has crisscross back detailing. It's like a light pink floral print. And it has a slip right here. But this is from Intimately Free People. Intimately Free People. And slip, 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 <laughs> slip dresses are in style right now. So be picking these up because they will be sought after. And this was a really cute style, like almost the nightgown type. That's what you want to get. And so. I got that. It's super cute and it's really soft. Um, then there's this skirt, which my sister has already claimed to try on. So if she likes it, then she'll get it. But <laughs> it is Show Me Your Moo Moo and it's size small like this. Oh, I've been forgetting to tell you guys what I'm going to price things at. So I'll try to remember to do that uh, from now on. If this one, if my sister doesn't like tries it on and doesn't want it and I end up listing, it'll probably be like 35 or 30. <clears throat> I've never found Show Me Your Moo Moo skirts before. I've only found dresses. Um, okay, oh wait, I had another dress, I forgot. This is really cool. It is 100% lamb leather, so super soft, kind of like this stretchy material, but the brand is um, Boss by Hugo Boss, and it's really cool. It, I wonder if it came with a belt, or if this is just like a belt option because there's a little belt loop right here, but I'm not sure, so we'll see, and I need to look up like what comps are for this too because I don't know but it's just a really cool little piece and it's super soft. Lamb's leather is really soft. Yeah, so that was the other dress. Um, do these tops. Okay, this, I found a lot of anthropology at this Goodwill too, but again, I was being really picky. Um, one of my favorite anthropology brands, well, two of them are Guinevere. They have really like elegant pieces and also sleeping on snow. Uh, and I found both of those, but the pieces were really like ugly. And I was so sad because usually they have the, the prettiest pieces, but I passed on those ones. Okay, but this is the t brand Tiny from Anthropology, And it is this really pretty purple embroidered top. And if you see, it's like, I thought they were hummingbirds, but maybe they're not. Well, they're different types of birds. Different type embroidered birds on it. And the, um, the embroidery has like this gold metallic interwoven. So that just adds like an extra special touch to me. So I thought this was really cute. I'll probably list this at like falling over thirty dollars maybe i have to make sure because sometimes um there are anthropology pieces that are more rare than others so that's why you want to do your best to find style names too which can easily be done by looking up the ob number on the tag 
let me show you easily I say easily sometimes it's not very easy and sometimes you need to ask for help which I do frequently oh this one doesn't have an OB number however it does have a style number which makes me wonder if it's a newer and it's 30% silk sorry I'm just realizing this so I'll just look up that style number and hopefully it'll be simple okay next piece is this equipment femme top size small and it's just this blue button-up it's wrinkled sorry I had it in my stuffed in my bag but it has these cool flared sleeves it's just like a good staple piece from the brand equipment and I will probably list this one at 35 or 40 after I steam it. Okay, um, these are, that's the bottoms. These are one of my favorite, I found really good stuff, but these are like, this isn't the most amazing groundbreaking brand, but it's my favorite piece because of like the print. This is a pair of the pajama set from um, Intimately Free People, and it has llamas on it, or alpacas. I'm not exactly sure which one that would be. A llama or an alpaca. But it's a matching set, so it has the top and the bottom. And the uh, sleeves have little thumb holes, which I love in tops. Um, but it was kind of funny because these were right next to each other in the pajama department, which don't skip on your pajamas because I always go in right now specifically looking for the brand uh, Barefoot Dreams. Didn't find that, but I did find these. Or sometimes uh, Show Me Your Moo Moo will be in there because they mistake it for like lingerie or slips. So don't skip your pajama department. But <sighs> I'm getting out of breath. That probably means I'm talking too fast. I'm sorry, I'll slow down. With these, the shirt was listed at $9.99 and the pants were listed at $4.99. And I'm like, I really like these, but I don't want to pay two different prices for them. And like $9.99 for the top and $4.99 for the bottom, that's just really random numbering. And so I was a chicken. I just sent my husband to ask so that I didn't have to, which he did. It was fantastic. Um, I sent him to ask and I was like, he asked the lady, uh, so these pieces are a matching set, but they're priced differently. Is there any way we can have them like repriced as a set instead of buying them as two different items? And so she was, she was fantastic. She was like, oh yeah, let me do that right now. And so she went in the back and she came back and had them with one tag and she's like, it'll just be $4.99. And I was like, hmm, we will do that. So that was great. This Goodwill was amazing and the cashier was fantastic. I wish all Goodwills were like this. I should have done this one with the jeans, but they're not jeans, they're pants. But it's okay. We'll do them now. They were at the bottom. Okay, this was another bolo that I got to check off my list. I was so happy. These are Acris dress pants and they're super soft. They're like 58% wool, 40% Angora and 2% elastic but they're just a pair of classy dress pants and yeah I really like them and it was bolo brand that I got to cross off my bucket list so that is another score all right now let's get into my favorite I found six pieces of reformation and reformation is one of my, I think my mail lady's here picking up my packages right now, sorry. Okay, we're good. Reformation is one of my favorite dresses to pick up right now. Uh, well, pieces, not just dresses. And these were all insanely priced. And when I say insanely, I don't mean um, like super high. I mean extremely cheap. And all but one were half off. So I was kind of like... I went a little crazy, but that's okay. 
All right, this first one is my favorite. That's what the label looks like. Um, it'll either be this black one or it'll sometimes just be a small white strip that says Reformation. But this one is probably like the most widely recognized. But this is a maxi dress and it is super cute. Blue and white striped. I love this one. I think I'm going to uh, hold off on listing this one because I, I want to wear it at least once. So I'll do that and then list it. This was the only maxi dress I found, but I feel like the maxi dresses do better for Reformation than the tiny ones. But maybe that's just me. Okay, this is, I was kind of confused at first because I didn't know if it was a skirt or like a sleeveless top, but then I found out it is a skirt. Again, that's what the tag looks like. And it's this gray midi skirt. It has the buttons up the front, which are also a big trend right now in skirts. Um, it has pockets, which is great. And it has a tie around the middle. Let me tie it right now. Quick sloppy bow to show you what it looks like. But see, super cute. And this one I think is like a size medium and it almost feels like linen mm. sorry i'm looking it is medium and so it is a size medium and it feels like it has linen in it but the tag doesn't say so i won't put that on since i'm unsure but it does have that kind of linen feel Again, just another super cute little skirt. Okay, um, this one, is this a dress or a romper? Let me see. This is a dress. This is, all of these are Reformation. Reformation, black tag. This is a, just a black mini dress. Why is that going like that? Oh, there we go. Just a black mini dress. Long sleeve, has like ruffle detail on the side and the front. And I think these were all donated by the same person because most of them are small, medium. And I can't tell you guys what I'll be pricing these at because I don't know yet. I haven't looked up comps on Poshmark and I just kind of grabbed them. So I may have made a bad mistake with some of them. I don't know, we'll find out but Reformation does pretty well. So I'll at least make my money back if I picked up any duds. <laughs> um, okay, this is, this is like a super tiny one. <laughs> this is just a jumpsuit. And yeah, it has buttons up the front. And I almost missed that this was Reformation because the has the black tag, but the white uh, words are have been like worn off. So I was like, that looks like it. And then I looked at the inside and I saw that it was Reformation tag, but it's just a really cute, simple little jump, romper, not jumpsuit. This one is a cute springy dress. It's pink, has a V-neck, little cap sleeves. It's just a cute little floral piece. Oh, I skipped a pair of jeans. I just realized. Okay, well, I'll do those in a minute. And the last piece, this was my favorite one that I got. It's super cute. It is this white mini wrap dress. And the, the ties are down here, but this up real quick looks like this so it has these cute little sleeves right here v-neck a button to hold it right here and then a tie around the middle i can't wait to find a picture of this one because this was my favorite and again i think this is a size small or medium size medium yep that 
was my favorite and those were the reformation dresses that I got and there were some that I didn't get and I still put back just based on style and some of them were priced higher than I wanted to buy the resale but these were my my little lucky guys so I'm very excited that I was able to find those and this is the last pair of jeans that I somehow missed but again another bolo brand that I got checked off my list I was just boop 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 getting those all done yesterday however there are now like six new bolo brands on my list um some were ones that I found in the store but that were just like too priced too high for me so I now have them written down on my list in case I ever find them cheaper so that's okay because we're constantly crossing off brands on our bucket list and adding new ones but these are a pair of redone Levi's and the tag is dirty however that can be remedied and they're just my cat is tearing up the chair he wants to fight you want to fight did you want to fight you can't fight right now these are just high-waisted they have this button fly detailing high-waisted Levi's um they let me see something so I saw this and it looks like they were orange tag, which orange tag Levi's are um, more sought after. However, I can't confirm, but that pretty much looks like it was an orange tag cut off. What do you guys think? I'm not gonna put like orange tag in it just because I can't 100% guarantee, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. But these will do good, despite. I don't know what size they are. Oh, size 28 right in the front. Yep. So those are cool. So that was all of the items that I got. And that's been one of my best hauls um, in a while. And I did pay more for things than I usually do, but I'm totally okay with it when I have brands of like that caliber that I know are going to do well. So it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine that I went over my thrifting budget. So now I just have to get to work looking up style names, comps, and doing all of my photographing and listing. But I'm really excited for all of these items so that shouldn't be hard. So now I'm going to go sit in my living room with my phone turn on a podcast and start looking up comps. So I will see you guys in my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and tell me if you like this video and want more. Thank you guys.